Hey, first of all, congratulations on your victory. What a way to make your debut against the highly regarded opponent in Wonder Girl Fairtex. That was as flawless of a performance as it can get. Did everything in the fight go the way you thought it would? Oh, 110%. Literally, like, the game plan and strategy was there, and we knew that she'd be doing what she did tonight, so it just worked out perfectly in my favor. Was there anything at all that surprised you in that fight? Um, yeah, I thought she, you know, we expect like her last two fights, we expected her to come in like guns blazing. Like I told you before, walk in that linear line, like her past two fights and throw those straight shots. She seemed a little more patient, a little more timid this time around, but that wasn't a problem at all. So worked the game plan and worked out. Okay. Making your way down to the one circle for the very first time. How did that feel for you? What was that experience like? Oh, it was like so surreal. It was like, you know, going from the warm up room up to my marker to make my walkout. It was just so quick. I was like, oh my God, I don't think I'm ready for this. But once I got in the cage and we touched gloves, everything, time kind of just slowed down. And I really felt like I was in that flow state and just felt like home. <laughs> did you have any first fight jitters making your way into the circle? I did, yeah. I feel like, you know, every fight I have jitters this time around, I definitely had it with one being such a big company. And um, since I was here for Janet's first fight, I was kind of able to see all the media, the lights, cameras, and she had, of course, had a huge audience. So I kind of knew what to expect coming into it. So that definitely helped out. Okay, let's talk about the fight for now. She typically uses her length to uh, reach advantage against her opponents. Is that something that you guys train for, for this fight? Yeah, I mean, I honestly knew she wasn't extremely taller than me. I think she's probably only like a couple inches taller. Like I, I fought, I'm 5'4". I have fought in a girl who's like 5'9". So it, the height difference really wasn't an issue at all. But we did work making sure if I throw my hands to step in with both feet when I throw those hands. So... That really worked out tonight. You dropped her with a clean left hook in the first round. It looked like you were setting that up the whole time. Is yeah. that something you trained for? Was yeah. that part of the game plan? Yeah, definitely. That you know that check hook working in on both sides, going as a southpaw, and same thing as an orthodox. Um, like I said, we expected her to come straight in with shots. So I was just kind of had that. Rem I was kind of remembering in my head that if she were to come in, I had that check hook waiting for her, and it worked out. Yeah, once that hook landed, she dropped his face first into the canvas, and it appeared like it was over almost. Were you surprised that she was able to get back up from that? Uh, I mean, a little bit. I, it all happened so fast. I, I, I knew it was really hard because I felt it on my fist, but um, it wasn't until I saw her go down that it kind of just got my adrenaline pumping, and I was just needed. My coach reminded me, like, if you hurt her, take a deep breath, and then go in. You know, I don't, you don't want to go in recklessly. You want to be smart about it. Yeah, and you were answering back with like three or four punch combinations to counter every one or two punches. It seemed like your speed was also bothering her, and she had difficulty adjusting. Do you think that was a difference in this fight, your speed? I think my speed and my, you know, my timing and my, my feints definitely gave her trouble. And the more hands I landed on her, I could physically see it was hurting her. So I just knew I have to be throwing these hands throughout the whole fight, and it worked out. And you've probably also been uh, experienced fighting in the ring, but this time it's a cage, it's a circle. Did that play anything into your mind? Uh, how was that experience like? Yeah, definitely first time. Um, I don't, I haven't even really sparred too much in the cage. We just have a ring back at home, but um, definitely different. Like I just made sure to not get caught on the back foot with my back against the the cage. So I always made sure to get back into that center of the cage. So. I think that worked out for me. Before this fight, did uh, Brian have any words of wisdom for you? Yeah, he. I mean, obviously the game plan, but, you know, it's my first time debuting. We only have one time to make a first impression, so he just made it clear, like, we didn't come all the way from L.A. to do nothing, so go out there and be everything that Jackie can be, and I think I did that. Do you think you were able to surprise a lot of people with this? performance i think so i mean i was definitely i think i was definitely viewed as an underdog coming into this which is totally fine it doesn't hurt my feelings at all um but i think i, I 
put my name out there and I think people know who I am now. So I'm excited to get in there again. Another thing that's probably new to you um, is fighting in these four ounce gloves. Is that something you need to get, you think you need to get used to? Do you think that's going to play to your advantage in your next fights? Um, I knew, I mean, just over the year, I, with my strength and conditioning, I knew my strength got up a ton, especially in my hands. So I was honestly really excited to do it and do this fight in four ounce gloves. And like I said, we've been training in those four ounces, drilling and sparring for like since 2019, since Janet had her first fight with a uh, stamp, just because it was an MMA glove. So I was already kind of familiar with it, um, but it feels really good to punch somebody in four ounce gloves. <laughs> Do you have any message for people watching back home? Yeah, I mean, I literally feel like I have a whole nation rooting for me back at home. And I really felt that with me. And I took it with me into the cage tonight. And I can't thank everybody enough for all the love and support. And thank you, everyone. You're also starting to build up a pretty good following in the Philippines where, where your uh, family was originally from. Do you have any message for the Filipino people? Mahal kita, all my Filipinos. <laughs> And hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to fight in Manila when, you know, when all this goes, all this craziness goes away. All right. Thank you so much, Jackie. Jackie Bunton, winner over Wonder Girl Fairtex. Congratulations once again. Thank you so much.